Hi guys, welcome to this session on Power Apps. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Power Apps to input data into a SharePoint list. So first of all, on the Office 365 homepage, I'm going to click on this little button and go down to Power Apps. Once it loads up, you get some options to create a new one or select from previous ones. So these are all the options you've got there. I'm going to do one from a SharePoint list, but you can see you've got other options there like an Excel file. But this is the one I'm going for, SharePoint list. Obviously you would have to have a list already created in SharePoint for that to happen. So first of all, let's open the SharePoint screen. And then you get your links. This is the SharePoint I want. And then it gives you your sites. Now the site I'm going to use is Steve's team site. So I'll click on that. And it gives me the list that I have in that site. Now if I just go on to a or go back onto the first tab and go into SharePoint just to show you SharePoint Steve's team site. And then you've got lists in here. So if I go to site content, you can, you'll see the list, the list I'm going to select. So these are the list. Marketing data is the list that I'm going to select. So these are my list. Look, it says list there. And if you want to create a new list, you can just click on new list. And then it just brings this screen up. And you can either do it from an Excel file or a blank list. And then you just follow the, follow the wizard through to create your list. But I'm not going to do that now going back to power apps because that's the list that I'm going to select marketing data and then connect down the bottom there and then it takes a couple of seconds to pull it all together and give you your power app canvas so while that's loading up we'll just wait there you go skip that now you get the same information coming through here what you've got is your canvas and when you click on these little buttons you get them activated in edit mode you can't actually click on them and do anything just it selects them and as it's selecting them down the right hand side you've got the properties for each of these items and down the left hand side when I click on these you can see different things being selected so you can either do it there select these things or click on them themselves and then that will highlight that now if you wanted to change anything you can change marketing data to be let's call it course data so I'm just typing course data there which will change the label as soon as you do that if you want to change the font or the font color you can do these are the, the font size different font style you can change that um, whatever you want it's on open sans at the minute if i go into that yeah i don't like that so i'll just put it back to open sans and you just follow the process down and you've got all these options here you can change the font color if you want to change the font color to whatever um, blue it'll change the font color for whatever you've got selected so if i cl click on the top bit font color it's white at the minute go for blue on blue not, look doesn't look good so go back to white so that's what that is wherever you click there's the properties for it and whatever you click that's the section you've clicked on on this side so you are in the browse screen at the moment and then you've got the detail screen which shows you what this information is and then you've got the edit screen which allows you to create a new record so I'll go back onto the top one now to preview what this all looks like, on the top right you've got a little arrow which will play this to preview the app. And then you've got sort, you can just do the sort at the top there, you can refresh the data, you can add a new record. So that's you typing a new record in, I'll just close that off. And then when you finish looking at the preview you can click the cross and it will collapse it down. Now if you want to do that in this mode you have to use your alt key, so if I use my alt key I can then activate these features. So I've got the sort button. I've got my alt key down. I've got the sort button and I can click on the plus and it just makes all this active and you can create whatever you want to create on it. 
Now I want to add a second page to this. So across the top you've got new screen, new theme. I'll do, I'll do themes first. This is quite a few of these. I'll click on this one. Let's have a look what happens. Do I like that? Remember this app could be on somebody's phone. That's not too bad. As long as the font's white, you can see that. I'll just leave it for there. I might change it later on. But I do want to insert a new screen. And again, you've got lots of template options in this list. I'm going to go for a blank one and then you get a new screen. Now, you need to add the elements, obviously, to this screen, whatever you want to insert on this screen. So you've got like a label. So I've got label at the top there. And if I just type, double click in there and just put something very simple like phone me. And then I want another one, text block, uh, import, move that down a little bit. And you just position these how you want, double click. Um, and then your number, I'm making this number up. So don't try ringing it. That's it. And then you might want to put an, uh, an image. You've got different options there. So you've got media. If I click on media, I'll put an image in there whatever you want so there's nothing there at the moment it's just a frame for an image what you have to do is on the properties you need to select the image that you want add an image from file and then it will just navigate to your computer I'll just pick this Africa image there you go so that's an Africa image and then what I want to do is obviously if people are on this page how do they get to this page how do they get back there is an option at the top there to add a navigation button. So if I just put a button on there and sit that down in the center and then you've got um, where, where that button goes to. You have to select the action button and then you can navigate to where it wants to go. So I want this to go to the browse screen one. So I'll leave that on there. And then to test it, Alt key down click on it make sure it takes you back to this now obviously on this screen I need uh, a button or an icon to take me to the second screen so what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to go back to insert and I'll go for an icon and you've got lots of different icons in here just I want the phone icon there we go phone so then you position that to where you want it to be it's picked up the same theme, so that's good. Don't have to change the font. Font, or as it's in that, but change the font color to white. It's grayish. Where's white? White. So now it's the same, and then that needs to have an action that's going to take it to the second page. So action, and then you navigate to where you want to go. So. If I drop this arrow down, it should say screen one. Now, if I go down, if I, before I do that, if I just scroll down to the bottom here, this is my screen one. I'm going to rename that. So I've just right or clicked, rename that as phone. So that's now called phone. So when I go back onto the first screen, back up to the top, browse screen one, click on that icon. And then action, navigate to, drop this little arrow down, phone. So that's now going to navigate to the phone. So if I hold the Alt key down, click that, keep the Alt key down, click that. So they're now navigating between each other. If I hold the Alt key down and click on this little arrow, it just takes me to the details of that course back on that one. So we've got course data there. So once you've got everything sorted out, what you can do is save this and share it to your colleagues. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go file. Now you've got options there to save to the cloud or to the, this computer. So I'm going to click on that one. And then you've got to give it a name. So courses 2022, that'll do. And then save. And then what you've got to do is, well, you don't have to do it, but you share this with your colleagues. Share, and then you select the people that you want to share it with and give access to if you want them to be owners of it. So you just type their names up there and then select them. And you can say 
that one is a co-owner and then that one also and then just share that so they're shared there's the owners close that down and then if you go back to your SharePoint or your your home screen Office 365 screen so this is my SharePoint screen so if I go in there and select power apps you should see that app appearing there so you've got your if I scroll down courses 2022 click on that and then you get the full preview of the app there's your little hyperlink there's your button to go back and I've done it's a mistake there That's, that should be the telephone number never mind and you can just go and edit that but you can now add a new record and fill it in close it off do whatever you want to th with this that's the app created so hopefully that very simple short video is helpful and gives you a good start in how to create your own app thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one